There we go. Okay, we're live now. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Andrea from Verbling.com, and this is an English class called Spellcheck. And in this class, I have an article, and in every sentence of the article, there's a problem with spelling, grammar, punctuation, or prepositions. So you will be working together to fix the article to make it correct. Um, oftentimes in English, when you are trying to work on your speaking or your writing, um, you work so much on creating your own words, making making sentences as you speak and write. This is the reverse. This is sentences that are already made, and then you have to correct the mistake. So it's just another way to look at grammar, and it will improve all, all aspects of your speaking and writing as well, and spelling especially. So we'll get started very soon. I have an article today about skiing, winter sports. Uh, we have Victoria in our class. Hi, Victoria. Hi. Hi. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Is this your first class with me? Yes, this is my first class with you. Great, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And where are you from? I'm from Italy. Okay, so is Vincenzo. <laughs> <laughs> what part of Italy are you from? I'm from uh, Latina. Uh, okay. It's a small uh, town close to Rome. Okay. Cool, and Vincenzo, you're in Rome? You're in Rome right now, right? I think Vincenzo's from Rome. Vincenzo, turn your microphone on. Vincenzo, I see your your mouth is moving, but your microphone is muted, so I can't hear you. Heck, now he's on. There we go. There we go. Okay. okay. Yes, I'm coming from the previous lesson, teacher. Uh huh. The, pre <laughs> the previous class. Yes. From video. Yes. Mm -hmm. Vincenzo, you're in Rome, right? Yes, I am in Rome. And okay. what about Vittoria? Vittoria is from Latina. Latina is yes, Latina. from Latina. Latina. Yes, puoi parlare anche italiano, eh, se puoi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, siamo, siamo vicini, insomma. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay auguri allora. <laughs> Many wishes. <laughs> Great. Um, and then Victoria, is this are you are you um, new to verbling also? Um, no, this is my third class on verbling, I think. Okay, okay, cool. Welcome. Thank you. Good to have you in class. We also have Luis. Hi, Luis. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Doing well, thank you. How was your weekend? Everything routine. <laughs> Routine, <laughs> business yeah. as usual. You can also say that. Just normal, business yeah. as usual. Business as usual. As usual. Uh huh. Yep. Then you can you can also say that about just your work day. How's it going? Business as usual. Normal. Nothing special. Yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. So um, I think most of you have done this kind of class. I do this class uh, about every week. Um, it's a good way to to just um, think about your grammar and spelling in a different way instead of just always trying to to write and create things. Now we're going to look at something that's already written and fix it. Uh, so get some proofreading done. Proofreading is when you you read a text or you read some writing and you have um, you have to identify the mistakes and also talk about how to fix them. So um, I have an article today about skiing. The article was correct when I got it, and then I just went in and I changed a lot of words. A lot of the most of the mistakes in this article are spelling, so you'll have to change those. You'll have to um, tell me how to spell the words. So, for example, you know a word is spelled wrong, it's spelled incorrectly. You have to tell me the how it should be spelled. So you'll have to spell some words for me as we go. Um, I'll also put this on the screen so you can see my screen as we do this. Um, also, there may be some grammar mistakes. For example, maybe a verb is in the incorrect tense. Maybe it should be in present tense while it's in past tense. Uh, maybe the subject and the verbs don't agree. For example, she don't go instead of she doesn't go. There may be problems like that. Um, some prepositions, your small words, um, on, in, about, over, up, uh, those might be um, also wrong, so you may have to replace some prepositions. And then also punctuation may be wrong as well. So periods, I'll, I'll tell you um, 
Let me just give you the punctuation name so you can can tell me. That's a period. This is a comma. Um, another one is um, an apostrophe. You may be looking at those three especially today. Periods, commas, and apostrophes. Um, those are going to be, I think those are the other ones that, that we'll be looking at today. And uh, But most of it is spelling. So each person will take a sentence and we'll, we'll work through the article um, as far as we can through the hour. And it's, it's also a good speaking practice for you because you have to tell me what to do to change it because I will be fixing it while it's on the screen. Uh, we also have Cesar in our class. Hi, Cesar. Good job. How are you? Hi, thanks. How was your weekend? I start week. I I'm very very busy this this last weekend. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> it to be very bossy at at work. So you you had to tell people what to do. What? You had to tell people what to do. I can you repeat? Uh huh. You had to um, to give instructions, tell people what to do. Uh, uh, I I with my family. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's also say hi to Long. Hi, Long. Uh, hello. How are you? Uh, fine. Uh, and how are you doing today? Do, doing well. How was your weekend? Weekend. Oh. Mm. We can, uh, yeah, have to do some part-time job. So we can. Use... Okay, it's very okay. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> okay, you had some part-time work to do this weekend. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, let's go ahead and get started so that we can give everybody some good chance to fix our article. I'll put this on the screen. This is about winter sport called skiing. You are in the snow. You are going down hills and mountains in the snow. You are on skis, two little uh, boards. You put your feet on them. There are two of them. And uh, it's very fun. So this will be what we'll be talking about today. Um, and as we usually do, each person will take one sentence. If um, the sentence is really short or there are not very many mistakes I may give you two sentences but most of, most of you I think will be just fine with one sentence at a time and that helps us to um, make sure that we really get everything in this so Ahmed you will go first tell me what we should be doing to this first sentence to make it correct Okay, scanning is one of the most popular sports in the world. Okay, off, just uh, one off, not two, uh, two F. F, one yeah. one F. Uh -huh. Most popular sport in the world. Word, uh, W O R L D, I think. Uh, remove E. Yep, yep, so we remove the E. World, yes. World. And uh, I think the first word uh, is scanning. Uh, it is like uh, S K S K I uh, S K Y K. Uh, no, that's actually correct. To ski, S K I is the verb, and then it looks kind of funny because there are two eyes in a row, but that's that's correct. Skiing. The most popular. Sport, sports, sport. Uh, they remove us. Uh, it can be plural. It's okay. okay. Yeah, one one among the most popular sports. It's one of them. So, of of the of a group of the most popular sports in the world, skiing is is one of the most popular sports. Yeah, I think it is now. It's correct. The first statement. Oh, uh, you got you got. Almost everything. There is still one spelling mistake in this sentence. Babula. Uh, uh huh. B O U. 
or the uh, like regular B O U B L A R. I think. Say that again. B O U. Sorry, should we let's let's mute Vincent. Okay, sorry. So okay, spell how how should popular be spelled? Uh, popular uh, P O U B L A R. Now we do need to add a U in there, but um, here this looks like Pooplar instead or Pauplar, but we need it to be popular. So maybe we can put a U in a different place. Okay. Uh, B U O. First. Uh, nope, nope. But think about the number of syllables. Popular. Uh, right now it says poplar. Yeah. Popular. Uh, um, can you say like uh, uh, oh no? Yeah, we have to. There, we do need a U in here. We need to put it somewhere. But um, maybe we can we can um, put it somewhere so that the word becomes three syllables because just how it is now, this is not a word actually. But if I had to pronounce this, I would call it poplar. But we need to turn this into popular. Uh -huh. We need to put like in. Very... Say it again. Uh... Oh, P O P U L A R. Yes, popular. Uh huh. P O P U L A R. Now it's correct. Skiing is one of the most popular sports in the world. Good. Um, say, sir, please do the next sentence. It is a way of moving over snow and an activity that millions of people of. Uh oh, I think maybe some audio had a problem. Maybe it's my computer. Maybe it's a connection problem. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, say sorry. I didn't hear all of the the sentence that you read, um, but that's okay because we we see it on the screen. Um, tell me what we need to fix in this. Say, sir, are you there? I hope I don't have a connection problem because I can't hear anything. Um, but I can hear Cesar neither. Oh, you can't either. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's a maybe an audio or an internet problem. I'm not sure. Uh, let's try again. Say, sir, can you tell me that you're there? Maybe it's a problem with the Hangout, too. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there it looks like he's... Naughty. We have two. We have two Cesars in our class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Cesar, are you with us? Maybe it's loading. Oh, I hear can something. You, can you listen to me? Yes, we can hear you now. Uh, I can I can return the the computer. I'll come back. Okay, you're gonna restart. Okay. Okay. Uh, restart. Okay. All right. So while he does that, um, let's have Long do this second sentence. It is a way. Uh, hello. Hello. All right. Uh, it is a way of moving. Uh, moving. We sh we should have put that. T take the e away. Uh huh. Take away the e. Take the e away. Yeah. Moving yep. over should be o v e r. Mm hmm. O v. Yep. And uh, 
the two and should be put one delete one and there are two and in this sentence we should delete one of oh yes yes take away one of the and mm -hmm. and uh, there is a uh, uh, articles in our right it is an activity and why is it an instead of a uh, it's an because the sound is a um, vowel. Yes, so the, the following it. word starts with a vowel sound. Yeah, uh-huh, good. And oh, uh, there is a, a, a lot, it's top a lot. I think millions. Uh-huh. Millions should be spelled as uh, M-I-L-L-I-O-N-S. Millions mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, our our ages enjoys. So maybe put that uh, uh, apostrophe. Our ages, our ages. Po apostrophe maybe behind us. It's more better. Hmm. Like that? Yeah. yeah. People of all ages. Now, is age here with when you have an apostrophe that would make it possessive? Maybe we don't have it. Yeah. No maybe need apostrophe. We take it away then. Yeah. It's just plural and not possessive. People of, of all ages, old people, young people. Okay. That's it. Uh, there's actually still one spelling problem and one grammar problem still towards the end of the sentence. Okay, it is a way of moving snow and uh, it is. Is that that uh, behind that there should be a for S? Uh, is that is millions? Uh, no, we don't need an is in there. We don't need to add any words, but we need to change two words that are already in the sentence. Uh, you mean there is one more? There's a yeah. There's one spelling problem and also one grammar problem with a verb. Okay. Well. Maybe we put another article or something. Uh, we don't need any more words. We need to change two change. words though. Mm -hmm. Change it and. Oh, people. Uh huh. P O P L O E. Yeah, people. Yeah, L E, not E L at the end. Good, good. Many people of origins. Uh, enjoys put that off. That's uh -huh. off. Uh huh. No, it's a uh, pl uh, plural, not a thing. Yes, people. Good. Yeah, people enjoy. Multiple people, more than one. Good. It is a way of moving over snow and an activity that millions of people... All of the mistakes in that one, is it is now correct. Very good. So many. <laughs> <laughs> the later at night that I do these, the more mistakes I put in, by the way. <laughs> if it's late at night and I'm sleepy, then I, I mess up everything. <laughs> so... If I go to bed earlier, then I don't yes. add this many. On purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, Cesar is back after restarting. Yes, yeah, Cesar, or right now. Okay, we can hear you. Um, your audio did something funny again, but um, let's let's have you read. Um, 
let's have you do these two sentences because the first one is really short. Okay. Alpini, Alpin skin was skinning down a hill. They were, they were come from the Alps. The high stairs mountains in Europe were down hill. Skinning start. I think first the hill, the hill? in the final hill in the final in the final of the first sentence. Uh -huh. You add a uh, uh, yes. Add an L, two L's. Uh, in the first word, Alpines. Uh, I think you need a post of S. Uh, in Alpine here. Yes. Uh, that's we actually don't because um, this is just a kind of skiing, so we'll call that alpine skiing. So we use that like an adjective, skiing in the the alpine region. So that that one doesn't need a a possessive or anything like that. Okay. Uh, there are any any wrongs any wrong in the first sentence. Say that again. Uh, I, I think the first sentence is all right. Um, it's okay, yeah. It, grammatically, it's good. Everything's spelled correctly. Um, okay. But in this, thinking about the verb tense, past or present tense, maybe we can um, ah, put yes. it in a different in tense. The past. Yeah. You need to put the, the verb in the past. Uh, uh, well, you need the sky. Uh, oh, here with skiing. Um, here, skiing down a hill. Where this is actually changing um, to ski the verb into a noun. So skiing, we can keep that still. Okay. Yeah. Um, now notice the first two sentences. It talks about skiing is. It is. Really, we're in past tense here. So maybe we can keep it all in present tense. Okay, was, is. Uh huh. Changing was to is. So in this article, um, there are also some other kinds of um, verb tense um, problems. So it's good to keep when you have a, something you're writing. It's good to keep everything in in the same tense, unless you are you are telling a story and then you're changing changing okay. it. Um, yeah. Yeah, but here, because this is just an article, it's an informative article, let's keep it all in present tense here. Because um, there still is, we still have alpine skiing. That is still a thing. So it is, and then skiing down a hill. Okay. Uh, the second sentence, the war bear. Uh, you need you need the the chain. Do I need the what? Uh, the, the second war. Uh -huh. uh, yes. We need to change it. Yes. Uh, um, this. But I but isn't anything. Yeah, this is not this is not a word here, so we need to. Uh, yes, we that's need a to... word. Uh, uh -huh. War. No. Uh, war. No, no, it's, no, it's possible. Yeah, so so it should be a, It's the way that this is is not is not a word, um, but can you spell what it should be? A w a o r d. Yes. Word. Uh huh. Good. Okay. Uh, high, high star. Uh, you need to delete the e. Which e? The first e or the second e? The the first e. Uh, the first e. This one. Um. Uh, you. Uh, no. Uh, 
uh, you need the first, the first, and the and the second. Okay, so uh, which one to delete? We we do need to uh, to delete one of the E's. Uh, you need the first the first E. We need it. I think you need. Uh, you need uh, the, the first and the second. Uh, the, the second two. Sorry, your um, say sorry, your audio keeps um cutting uh, out. So sometimes I don't hear all the words you say. The the you need to delete the first e. Uh, it's actually the second e. The highest. Second e. Uh huh. So it's a superlative, like the most high, the highest mountain. So we add est to the end of an adjective. Okay. Yeah, to make it superlative. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, the second one. Uh, mountains in Europe were downhill, skiing, uh, start. You need the late and start uh, the T. No, D, mm -hmm. D, D, D. Like this? You delete and start, uh, yes, okay. Okay. Um, now here we are. We are doing a lot of work on um, verb tenses here. So here um, we do. We are still in present tense, um, talking about the verb, like the word come. Uh, something with that too, but we'll do that later. Um, here, um, downhill skiing has already started. So. Keep this. This one is an example where we would be putting it in past tense. Uh, this is, okay. Europe is the place where they they began to ski. They started skiing there. Okay. You you need. I. Uh, you need to uh, put the uh, skin, you put the uh, eye. In skiing? The skin, you uh -huh. add the eye. Add an eye, yes, good. Okay. Okay, um, there's still, there's, um, there's still three mistakes in this one. There's a grammar with a verb, it's a ver verb problem, um, and there's also a spelling problem and a punctuation problem too. In mountains, is possible to the S in the final S? Uh, no, 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 because the Alps is a group of mountains. Also, yes. I don't know. I don't see. Okay, let's um let's have the group help because this one this sentence has a lot of mistakes in it. Um, can someone from the group tell me something else that needs to be changed in this? I need a comma after Europe. Uh comes. yeah yeah we can do that. Comes. Uh, where? 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 Yeah, what's your what about that? Where? Double H-E-I-E, where? We do need to change this word here, where. It's pronounced where. Where? So maybe, but it, it is not spelled correctly. There's, um, that is a word. It means, like, you, you wear clothes. You put clothes on your body, and you're wearing um, them. Place. It's like place where. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. How do you spell that? W-H-E-R-E. -E. Yes. Yeah, so in that place in Europe where downhill skiing started. Okay, good. Um, and this is still for the whole group because this is a tricky sentence. Um, there's a problem with grammar still, and there's also a punctuation problem. 
A word comes from. Comes from. Comes, comes from. Comes, comes from. from. Uh huh. Good. So yeah, make sure your subject agrees with your verb. Word is third person singular, so it comes. Um, there's still one punctuation problem. Downhill. Downhill, yes. Downhill. Now, what do we have to change to change with that? Dash. Sorry, one more, one more time. Re Say that again. Remove the dash. Yes, the dash. Uh, another word for that is a hyphen. I'll put that in the chat box for you guys so you can see. So this, yeah, it's a dash, and it's also a hyphen. Yeah. yeah. Hyphen. Yes, good. Um, hi, Anne or Roman. Hello, how are Hi. you? Hi. Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Great. Good to have you in class. You're just in time. Um, so, uh, let's see. Now we have the word comes from the Alps, the highest mountains in Europe, where downhill skiing started. So, that is the the word alpine here. You get that from the, the mountains, the Alps. And so that is a kind of skiing. It's a style of skiing. Good. Uh, let's see. Let's have Luis do the next sentence, starting with beginners. Beginners slides down gentle slopes and keep the front types of their skis together. Beginners without uh, apostrophe. Mm-hmm. Slide down well, gentle, gentle. Yes. Inver invert L with and the E. Uh huh. Gentle. Gentle. Slope and keep the front types of their skis together. Uh, together. T H E R at final. Together. Ah. Together, not together, but together. Uh, yes. Together. Yes. Beginners slide down gentle slopes and keep their the front types. I'm. I think it's not. Yeah, but this isn't a word. Think about the very, very front part of something. Um, it has all. Of, there's actually in this word, um, there is one letter that um, should not be there. We have to delete a letter in that to make it a word. Tips. Tips, yes. Tips. Oh, yeah. Without E? Yep. Good. Get together. Okay. Got most of it. There's still one, one more grammar thing in here. Grammar problem. Beginners, beginners slide. Slide, yes. Yes. Slide. Plural, slide. Slide. Uh huh. Good. Beginners slide down gentle slopes and keep the front tips of their skis together. So that you don't you don't go up very high and yeah. you you keep the front part of your skis together so that you have more control. So you, maybe you won't fall as easily. There's two Vincenzos. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. All right. Good. Good job. The sentence is now correct. Uh, and Victoria will do the next sentence, starting with okay. these. Actually, this do have do the next two because this is short. First one is short. Okay, this is called a snow plug. When you get better, you ski par parallel and keep your ankles together. Um, so when you get better, instead of the double D, double T. Mm -hmm. We do pronounce it better in American English especially, but it is spelled with T's, yes. Uh, and is, uh, you need also to add an R at the end of uh, you, your ski. Um, oh, no, okay, actually, no, no, it's correct because he, ski it's a verb in this case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, ski, uh, you ski parallel, um, the double, you need a P, A, R 
E-L-L-E-L. Just one at the end. Yeah, yeah. So with parallel, the double L comes first, and then single L at the end. Okay, and keep your ankles. You need uh, for for E N K uh, A N K E. No, sorry, L E S. Yes. So we flip the the L and the E. Yeah. Okay, together. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, uh, so uh, second sentence is good. There's okay. still something to do with the first sentence. Okay, the um, mm -mm. yeah, the pronoun is not correct. I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, because this is plural and we need the, the singular. Right. So is this not this is spelled by T H uh, I S. Uh huh. Good. This is called so yeah singular. The uh, here the way that the beginners are are skiing. This is called a snow plow. A snow plow. A plow here. This that's correct by the way. But um, a plow is um, with snow. Especially, um, it pushes snow out of the way. Um, you may, there may be snow plows in your city. If it snows in your city, there are snow plows that help get the snow out of the street. Um, it's also a skiing term. When you are holding your skis a certain way, it's called a, a snow plow, also. And we pronounce it plow. Okay. Uh huh. Good. Um, let's see. This is called a snow plow. When you get better, you ski parallel and keep your ankles together. Good. They are both correct now. Great. Okay. Uh, Vincenzo, do the next two sentences because the first one is also very short. Allora, for many years, he he was made out of wood. Mm. For many years, uh, he. No, he's very strange. Yeah? Plow. No. Very strange. He. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's. It's also just. He's. Yes, he's perhaps was made made out of wood. Of w o o l d. O O L D, like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Without L. D. Yeah, yeah. Now that is, I pronounce the way in my my own American English pronunciation. I do pronounce wood, like from a tree here, what the skis are made out of, and also the, the way it was W O U L D. I would do that. I pronounce those the same. Wood. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. For many years, his his was made for for part of the wood. Yes, it's okay. Today, modern modern carvers. What is carvers? Somebody, uh, um, carver? Somebody, carver is a is a kind of ski here. Hmm. It, carver can also be a person who carves, like they take a knife and ah. they they um ah, they okay. they they cut into the wood. Carvers. Ah. But, but here it's just a kind of ski, a carver. No, carver is a, someone who makes something, no? Yeah, that can also be that too. But here in this case, in this sentence, it's, it's uh, referring to a kind of ski. Yeah. I made of a, a combination, not the A at the beginning, but a, oh, you uh -huh. know. Combination. Combination of different is different, different. You need a knee after the F. Different. Yes, different. Now I pronounce it different, like two syllables, but it is spelled different. Yes. With an E in there. Yes. Uh, a combination of different materials. Materials. Okay. A combination of different materials. Materials. Okay. There are other today. Today. Perhaps a comma after today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Today, modern camera made a combination. Combination, no, today, modern camera of different 
perhaps a, a come after combination of today, but a capital money is a combination. No, of, let's let's no, not put any more commas. No, 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 a different material. I think it's good in this way, teacher. Okay, it's almost it's almost there. Um, we still we have a spelling problem, and then we also have a word that is spelled correctly, and it's pronounced. You're pronouncing it correctly, but it needs to have a different spelling because it's but a different yeah, meaning. Today, molecules are made of a combination of different materials. No materials, material materials. Materials. Yes. Mm, understand, yes. Yes, materials. You have to eliminate the the last E. Mm -hmm. mm, materials. Yes. 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 Okay, so that was the spelling problem. Now, everything technically, if you look at just every individual word in this sentence, each each word is spelled correctly. Each word is spelled like a real word. But there's one word that... Um, has it's a, it's a homonym. It's the, it has another word that is pronounced the same, but it's spelled differently and has a different meaning in this second sentence here, Vincenzo. Mm. Mm -hmm. So when you read it, if you read it to me and I'm not reading it, if I don't see the, the sentence written down, it sounds correct to me, but there is a word uh, that... Yes, yeah, yes, yes, excuse me. I didn't know. <laughs> Made, allora, M-A, M-A, made, made, M-A-D-E. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear, dear. What is, do you know what the, the you, yes, you do know this because we talked about this. Um, that lady that comes at 9 o'clock every day in your house to clean? No, no, no. That's no, a it's, maid. It's getting, it's getting away. No, but 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 that's that that would be her title. She's a maid, an M A I D. <laughs> yeah, that's what she is. <laughs> no, excuse me. <laughs> no, no, my maid, maid. No, no, no. Yeah, yes, yeah. Maid, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> so, a, yeah, a, a person who who um their job is to clean houses is a yes, maid. Yes, yes. It's pronounced exactly the same, but it's spelled differently. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, second sentence is good. Today, modern carvers are made of. A combination of different materials. Now, in the first sentence, um, we still have a, a grammar problem and a spelling problem. Hmm. For many years, keys. A grammar problem. For many years, keys. 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 Yeah. Keys. Uh, where? Mm-hmm. Where? Yes. Plural, plural. Yes. Subject where, verb agreement. Mm -hmm. Where made made out of wood. There yes. are other problems, did you? There is um, still a spelling problem with the mm -hmm. word ski. The many for many years for many years skis were made made out in the in the first sentence. Yeah, with the word skis. Spelling problem. Mm, it's not skis. Uh, it's very strange. Uh, let me see. Mm, skis. How is it possible? Ski. Mm, I don't know. Ski is. Skis? Here, um, the singular of it is just. Ah, skis, ski. skis. I understand. There is a. Yeah. Any e more? Any? Do you have to eliminate any? An, e? an I. I is how we an pronounce I, it. An I. Excuse an me. An I. An I. Yes. yes. Skis. Italian. Italian. <laughs> yeah, and Dutch too. That's how Dutch people say say I yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 Skis. Uh huh. Skis. So. Yeah, ski, skiing, the only time that you have two I's in a row is when you have it in the continuous, in the gerund, skiing. Gerund, gerund, yes, yeah. only in the gerund. Yeah. But in, pl yeah, in, in uh, plural, it's just one I. And then singular <laughs> is just S-K-I. Oh, dear. Yeah. Also the verb to ski. That was tricky. It is, yeah. Yeah, ski is a, is a kind of a strange word in English. It looks kind of strange. We don't have so many words that end in the letter I. Mm. 
Okay, uh, now it's good. For many years, skis were made out of wood. Today, modern carvers are made of a combination of different materials. So they used to be made out of wood, but now they're made out of other things too. All right, good. Uh, Roman, I'll have you do the next one. With um, They have... Okay. They have a metal, 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 metal and a border at the ends uh, so that uh, can turn more easier. Okay, so uh, for, first of all, metal ages. Uh huh. It's separate word, yes? Yep, yes. Two yeah. words. Uh, on the border. On the border? On the border. They have metal edge on the border. Bro ah, broader. Broader, yeah. Broader. Mm. Okay, uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, at the end. Uh huh. Ends at the end. Yes, and uh huh. And. Uh, uh, with at the end without s at the end of c and uh, where where do you want to eliminate an s uh, at the end I think it's an s uh, at the end <laughs> s at the end of the s oh, okay okay <laughs> the the s correct. at the end of ends yeah um yeah here here it's okay to have that plural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ski so, has two ends on it. There's a front end and, and a back end. Uh, so that you 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 can you. Uh huh. What do we do? Uh, you uh, oh. Mm -hmm. You. You can turn more easier. Okay, it's it was the uh, first uh, easy look, so. Uh, the second one. I have metal edges and uh, a broader and a broader at the ends so that you can turn turn more easier. I don't know where is problem. Okay, so yeah, every word is spelled correctly now. If you look at them by yourself, by the by by themselves, each word is fine. But um, here, think about uh, whether or not you need an adverb or an adjective. Look at your adjectives. Maybe one of them needs to be an adverb. Uh, uh, adjective or adverb. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean broader? Uh, broader is okay. We can leave that. Ah, easy. Uh huh. You can so, turn easy. Yes. Uh, e easy is still an adjective describing uh, something. But this is describing how you can turn. Uh huh. So. Uh, it's adjective. I need to uh, adverb. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, so I, I can use easy here, yes? Uh, no, easy is still still an adjective. Like the test is easy. Um, mm -hmm. This class is easy. Uh, and then Most easier. Simple. simple. Yeah, yeah. And then um, easier is just a comparative, so that's also an adjective. So easy and easier are both adjectives. So we need to change... Um, just think of the, the base word easy, the adjective easy, and we need to change it into an adverb to describe turning, being able to turn. Turn. Mm, I didn't know. Okay, let's ask the group, um, what is the adverb of easy? Easily. 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 Yes, so with adverb, we have the word easy, adjective here. Then we, when you make it into an adverb, you add ly, 
and we'll change this first y into an i easily. So you're, the way that you turn is easier. You can turn easily, more easily, too. Okay, now we have, they have metal edges and are broader at the ends so that you can turn more easily. And this is now correct. So these, these new skis are, are designed in a way that you can have an easier time turning as you ski. Let's have Ahmed do the next sentence. Starting with generally. This is for Ahmed. Yeah. Uh, from generally. Uh huh. Okay. Generally. Uh, the first word generally is not right. Uh, it is like uh, uh, not double R. Only one R. Right. And uh, not double L, only one L. Oh, two L's is okay. Okay, fine. Adding L uh, Y to the word general. Longer scale because they keep city at higher speed. Okay, better. Okay, fine. Skills. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, use. Uh, use longer uh, skis. Okay, here skis. I think it is uh, not correct. It is not correct. Uh, the comma after us. Uh, that's an apostrophe. Uh huh. Apostrophe. Yeah. Uh huh. Apostrophe after us. Uh, actually, if we do it like this. Um, that's still not correct. Adding, putting the apostrophe there. Uh huh. Um, okay. Okay. Better skills use longer space. Okay, without uh, apostrophe. Yeah, no apostrophe. It's just no plural. Apostrophe. More than one yeah. ski. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Because okay, right? They keep steady at steady. Yeah. Maybe I'm not sure if it's uh, okay. Maybe uh, only one D, not double D. Yeah, there there is only one D. There's still another letter to add to this, though. Okay. So they uh, keep they keep the same speed. They're not going too fast, uh, not too slow. It's steady. Then, okay. Uh, also Very stable. We, uh, uh, we okay. We will add A. Uh huh. S T A D Y steady. Yes. At higher speeds. Okay. Safety. Ending hill. Okay. At higher speeds. At higher speeds. Okay. Until the full stop. This is correct now. Uh, almost. There's still two spelling mistakes. Okay. Higher. It is correct. Higher is correct. Okay. Speeds. Uh, okay, speeds also correct? Nope. Not uh, speeds. Okay. Not speeds. Okay. Better. Okay, this is longer because they keep. Uh, like added something or just correct the words? With the um, the word speeds, you need to replace a letter. Okay. Uh, remove s. No, uh, we don't need to remove anything. We need to to change one letter ah, with another okay. one. Yeah. The a to e. The a to an e. Yes, speeds. Uh huh. Two e's. S p e e d s. Good. Um, and then there's still another, there's another word in here where all the letters are there, but um, you need to switch two letters to make it spelled correctly. Okay. Okay, correct. Longer. Skis. Longer. Right. Skis. Because they keep 
I'm not sure what the if like skis skis it's correct. Skis okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, skiers and skis because, are correct. Because uh, mm -hmm. because because I think uh, yes. C -C -A -U. yes, switch the A and the U. This is a common typo that you'll see in yeah. English. People often mix yeah. these up just by accident. Um, yeah. Correct. Generally, better skiers use longer skis because they keep steady at higher speeds. They can go faster and but still not fall down with the long yeah. skis. Yeah. Good. And I think we have time for one more. Um, let's have just this one can be for the group. Safety bindings help prevent leg injuries. They separate you from the skis when you fall down. So can somebody tell me something about this sentence here? What should we do to it? One thing that is wrong. Anybody from the class? Help. 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 Uh huh. Help. Yep. And then there's yeah. There is something with safety. You need an yeah. S at the end. Safety. S a f e t y. Mm -hmm. Y. Yes. Ends with a Y. Yes. Safety bindings help. So that's it's a it's a way that you you tie things to your leg. It's a binding. You bind something to to yourself. Um, Yes, yeah, safety bindings help prevent leg like, injuries, and then there's also still one spelling problem in this one. Maybe injuries. Uh huh. And injuries. You don't need uh, an I, but uh, Y, but you need um, I E S injuries. Yes, injuries. Uh huh. Because with injury, singular ends with a Y. But there is a, a consonant before the Y, the R. So because there's a consonant there, we have to change it to I-E-S. Good. Okay, and then the second sentence. Separate, teacher. Separate. Uh -huh. What do we do? Uh, e after the P and A. Mm -hmm. An E. This is a per, no, not in an A. In a. After P and A. Yes, yes. After, the other, uh -huh. after the other, after the other, in e. No, that's okay. No, that's very okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from this keys, from when yeah. you fall down. Fall down, separate. <laughs> yeah, separate, when. fall down. Uh huh. Two words, and then what's up with this word? When. 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 H. -E -N. W O N. Yeah. W H E N. One. One. Okay. When you okay. fall down. Uh -huh. Good. So these things help you to. If you fall, then you don't. You're not still attached to your skis. You are. You are okay, not with I, your skis. Okay. May I ask? Uh huh. Uh, generally, better skiers used is correct. Not right. Oh. Use. use. Yeah. Use. I I messed that up last night and then I forgot. <laughs> I didn't see that this time. Yes, they use longer skis. Present tense. Long, a longer or long? Uh, lo longer is good. Yeah, good. better. The better people that ski better have longer skis. Thank you. Yeah, good. Okay, good job, guys. Got through some of it. Um, I hope you got some good grammar and spelling practice. It's good to sometimes switch gears, and so instead of just creating your own sentences all the time with your speaking and your writing, it's good to look at something else and proofread it too, just to double check everything that you know. Um, I'm doing another class in about one minute. We'll be making a story together. Um, and there's often very funny. It's good practice. Now this time you get to make your own sentences, and um, you can practice making sentences and also making a story uh, progress in a logical order. So it's very fun. They're usually very, very funny. So I hope to see you in that. And if not, I hope you have a good Monday. Good. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye.